Hello everyone, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is fourth class on vector algebra. Till now, whatever the definitions we learned in vector algebra, in those things, three definitions you cannot miss. First one is representation of a vector that I did in first class. Next, multiplication of a vector by a scalar that I did in second class. And third one is unit vector and its direction. I explained this in third class. In case if you not gone through all those things, I'll give the link of playlist of all those videos in cards that you can find here. In this class, we are going to learn about collinear vectors. Collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors. And we will learn about like vectors, unlike vectors. And we will learn what are coplanar vectors. And we will learn what is free vector, what is localized vector. All these things we are going to learn in this class. So before going to start this video, please drop a like for this video. Without much delay, let's begin the class. First definition is collinear vectors. Here important point is collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors. Collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors. What is the definition of collinear vectors? You see the definition is vectors which lie on a same line. Vectors which lie on a same line or on parallel lines are called collinear vectors. You observe here three parallel lines are there. On these parallel lines there are some vectors. You observe AB bar. AB bar is a vector present on it. Okay. AB bar and CB bar. You observe CB bar. CB bar. You observe here there is a vector PQ bar. PQ bar and you observe here there is a vector YX bar. What do you know about these vectors? These vectors suppose AB bar, CB bar, they lie on a same line. And what do you know about AB bar and YX bar? AB bar and YX bar are the vectors which lie on parallel lines. What is the definition of collinear vectors? Vectors which lie on a same line or on parallel lines are called collinear vectors. So what about these vectors? These vectors either lie on a same line or on parallel lines. So can I say these vectors are collinear vectors? Yes, as per this definition, I can say that these vectors are collinear vectors. And the important point is collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors. Okay, now we are going to learn two important note points on collinear vectors. What do you know about A bar and M A bar? If M is positive, A bar, M A bar will be of same direction. If M is positive, A bar, M A bar will be in the same direction. If M is negative, A bar, M A bar are in opposite direction. Here if you observe carefully, A bar, M A bar are parallel vectors. A bar, M A bar are collinear vectors. You memorize this. Collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors. A bar, M A bar. What do you know about A bar, M A bar? They are in the same direction or they are in the opposite direction. You observe here, whatever the vectors I consider here, see AB bar, PQ bar in the same direction, AB bar, CB bar in the opposite direction. Then also we are saying these are all collinear vectors only na? parallel lines. It may be of same direction or it may be of opposite direction. What is the note point here? If I observe a vector and its scalar multiplication, what I know if M is positive, the vectors are in the same direction. Okay. So if, if M is negative, A bar, M A bar are in the opposite direction. So what I am trying to say here, A bar, M A bar are the collinear vectors. A bar, M A bar are called parallel vectors. I hope you are getting this point. If two vectors A bar, comma B bar are collinear, I already know that A bar, B bar are collinear. Then what I can say? A bar is lambda times of B bar. Here lambda is any scalar like M. Please try to understand this is very useful point. If the vectors A bar, comma B bar are collinear, then a bar can be expressed as lambda times of B bar or 
or b bar can be expressed as lambda times of a bar so what is the main point i am trying to say if two vectors a bar comma b bar are collinear then one vector can be expressed as scalar multiplication of other vector if two vectors a bar comma b bar are collinear then one vector can be expressed as scalar multiplication of other vector so if a bar equal to lambda times of b bar then we can say that the vectors a bar comma b bar are collinear or if b bar equal to lambda times of a bar then also i can say that the vectors a bar comma b bar are collinear and second important note point in this you consider three collinear points you consider three collinear points i am saying let a comma b comma c are three collinear points collinear points means what Three or more points are said to be collinear if they lie on a same line. You observe here. I consider a line. You can see the three points A, B, C lie on a same line. Then I can say that these three points are collinear. Now, whatever the vectors you take here, A, B bar, B, C bar, A, C bar, you observe. Based on these three points, I can take the vectors A, B bar, A, C bar, B, C bar. What those vectors are? those vectors lies on a same line na so ab bar bc bar ac bar lie on a same line so i can say that ab bar bc bar ac bar are collinear vectors here in note 1 what you learn if two vectors are collinear then one vector can be expressed as scalar multiplication of another vector here ab bar bc bar ac bar are collinear vectors na so one vector can be expressed as scalar multiplication of another vector what point i am trying to say if three points abc are collinear then ab bar is lambda times of ac bar one vector is scalar multiplication of another vector i can write like this r one vector can be expressed as scalar multiplication of another vector ab bar equal to lambda times of bc bar and one more thing is uh, what point you need to know from this note too to prove three points are collinear to prove three points are collinear if we prove any one of these things it is enough so while doing the problems if they ask to prove that three points are collinear if you prove that ab bar equal to lambda times of ac bar it means that the points are collinear what you learn about collinear vectors first point collinear vectors are also known as parallel vectors what is the definition of collinear vectors vectors which lie on a same line or on parallel lines are called collinear vectors two important note points you learn in this definition if two vectors are collinear vectors then one vector can be expressed as scalar multiplication of another vector if a bar comma b bar are collinear vectors then a bar equal to lambda times of b bar or b bar equal to lambda times of a bar second note point is what if you want to prove that three points are collinear if you want to prove that three points are collinear if you prove any one of these three things ab bar equal to lambda times of ac bar or ab bar equal to lambda times of bc bar or ac bar equal to lambda times of bc bar if you prove any one of what what the main thing here one vector is scalar multiplication of another vector then i can say that those three points are collinear now we will learn about like vectors and unlike vectors what are like vectors vectors which are in the same direction are known as like vectors vectors which are in the same direction are known as like vectors for example you observe here ab bar pq bar ab bar directed from a to b pq bar directed from p to q ab bar pq bar they are in the same direction na so as per this diagram ab bar pq bar are like vectors what is the definition of like vectors very simple the vectors which are in the same direction are known as like vectors and you see here what about cb bar directed from c to b what about yx bar cb bar yx bar they are in the same direction na? so cb bar yx bar are also like vectors next definition is unlike vectors what are unlike vectors the vectors which are in opposite direction not a different direction the vectors which are in opposite direction are called unlike vectors like vectors means vectors which are in the same direction unlike vectors means vectors which are in the opposite direction like this only opposite direction see not this one this is different direction one vector is going like this one vector is going like this means they are different direction this this is not opposite direction 
see a bar one vector is like this another vector is exactly like opposite to this these are opposite right what are unlike vectors vectors which are in opposite direction are called unlike vectors you observe here a b bar and c b bar a b bar and c b bar a b bar is like this c b bar is exactly opposite to this right so i can say that a b bar c b bar are unlike vectors because they are in opposite direction you observe this p q bar and y x bar p q bar and y x bar they are exactly in opposite direction so i can say that p q bar and y x bar are unlike vectors because they are in opposite direction so you learn about like vectors and unlike vectors See our next definition is localized vectors and free vectors. Many students confuse to understand what are localized vectors and what are free vectors. And one point here in mathematics whatever the vectors we use in our syllabus they are all free vectors unless otherwise stated. First we will learn what is meant by localized vectors and what is meant by free vector. First localized vectors what is the definition of localized vector a vector which is drawn a vector which is drawn parallel to given vector through a specified point this is important through a specified point in a space is called localized vector a vector which is drawn parallel to a given vector through a specified point is called localized vector to explain this i'll consider an example with that example you will get more clarity you see here i'll consider a table on this table i'll place a rigid body that means a solid body now what i'll do i'll apply force on this body this is the line of action there is a table a rigid body is there i applied a force on this body at this point now you see here a vector which is drawn parallel to a given vector suppose this is the given vector a vector which is drawn parallel to a given vector through a specified point in a space is called localized vector now what i'll do same force i'll apply on this object at this point what happens if i apply same force on this object at this point you observe here this is the vector which is parallel to this vector at a specified point at this point i am applying force you please observe here this is the object rigid object i am applying force on it it is moving as per the line of action right you observe this object is moving as per line of action now if i apply same force at this point see what happened if i apply the force on the same object here at this point you observe what happened it fall down so what happened here in these two vectors point of action is well defined see at this point if i apply then the object moves as per line of action right if i apply the force at this point it falls down right so these vectors are known as localized vectors what point you need to know here the point of action is well defined the point of action is well defined in localized vectors point of action is well defined what are free vectors the definition of free vectors i'll write first definition of free vector you please observe the definition of free vector a vector depends only on its length and direction a vector depends only on its length and direction the vector which depends on only its length and direction this is important it is independent of its position in space it is independent of its position in space it is called a free vector i'll try to explain this free vectors depends upon its length and direction and it is independent from its position in space are called free vectors i'll explain with the help of diagram don't worry you see here one more point i written here a free vector can be taken anywhere in space a free vector can be taken anywhere in space by choosing an arbitrary initial point you consider this vector you observe this vector this is the director line segment with initial point and terminal point is independent from its position this vector is independent from its position this can be chosen anywhere in space by choosing arbitrary initial point suppose this initial point i choose an here suppose i choose an initial point here the same vector the same vector i can move here the same vector i can move here what i want here i want its direction and length both are of same direction and both are of same length 
This vector is free vector. It can be chosen anywhere in space by choosing arbitrary initial point. You see here, a free vector can be taken anywhere in space by choosing arbitrary initial point. If I want to move this vector to here, first I'll choose arbitrary initial point. This vector only, I'll move to here. Here, this is of a, this vector is of same magnitude and same direction. This is free vector. This is free vector. What is free vector? A free vector can be taken anywhere in space by choosing arbitrary initial point. In our syllabus, whatever the vectors we will deal, they are all free vectors. In localized vectors, point of action is well defined. It acts as per the line of action. Okay, so localized vectors, free vectors, exactly, exactly opposite. In localized vectors, point of action is well defined, but in free vectors, no point of action free vectors no point of action you see here a vector depends only on its length and direction and it is independent from its position in space i hope you understand what are localized vectors and free vectors now last definition in this class coplanar vectors see i'll explain this as simple as possible coplanar vectors the vectors which lie on a same plane are called coplanar vectors. Vectors which lie on a same plane. What is plane? A flat surface is called plane. This is the flat surface. What is the definition of coplanar vectors? The vectors which lie on a same plane are called coplanar vectors. This much knowledge is enough in our mathematics. I am not going the vectors which are parallel to the same plane. I am not discussing. We will keep it simple. We'll keep it simple. What is the definition of coplanar vectors? The vectors which lie on a same plane are called coplanar. Suppose I'll take three vectors A bar, B bar, C bar like this in this plane. The vectors which lie on a same plane are called coplanar vectors. Coplanar which lie in a same plane. I hope you understand what we learn in this class. So in this class collinear vectors Parallel vectors definition is very very important. Once again I am saying that this chapter is very easy if you are good in the theory part. Being good in theory part is nothing but knowing the geometrical meaning of all the definitions. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video please drop a like and share this video with your friends so that they also will get benefit. In case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now. It's free. Thanks for watching this video. Take care. Bye-bye.